Hello, good afternoon. I'm, I'm Michael Whitaker. Um, I'm the chair of the Board of Governors of the Northeast Teachers UTC. And I'm here to, to welcome you to this um, online open evening. We're in unprecedented times, and I think what's happening emphasizes just how important both IT and healthcare and life sciences are to our lives. Um, there are big steps in life sciences to um, find a cure or vaccine for um, the COVID-19 outbreak. And IT, uh, information technology, is central to many of our lives now as we work at home, as I'm doing today. Healthcare, life sciences and information technology are the growing sectors in the Northeast economy. And that's the reason we set up this school. So I was a founder governor. Um, I've been with the school now for four years. It opened two years ago. And we're very pleased with the building, very pleased with our students, and we're very pleased with our staff. Healthcare and life sciences are going to be the employment of the future. And the aim of the school is to get our students ready for the jobs that they choose, to help them choose them and to make sure they have the right skills uh, to make those choices and to get the jobs that they need. We work very closely with regional employers. We work with Accenture, we work with uh, Sage, we work with a number of big IT companies in the region. We're very close to the NHS. These IT companies and the NHS have governors on our board. And working with employers is perhaps the thing that really singles out uh, Northeast Futures UTC, or indeed any UTC. Um, in helping to inform what students learn. Because school is about a career. It's about getting a job. It's about go going somewhere that you want to go. And that's what we're trying to help our students achieve. I'm proud of our school. First and foremost, I'm proud. And I'm proud of our staff because we have an excellent group of staff, unusually gifted and dedicated. I'm proud of our students because they rise to the challenge. This isn't an ordinary school, as Dan, the principal, will surely tell you later. We have slightly different ways of working and our students accept those and they thrive in that uh, environment. And in particular, I'm, I'm very proud of ourselves actually for raising over a thousand pounds for St. Oswald Hospice over the last four weeks or so. And they've done that doing various things. They're still on a virtual bicycle ride to Istanbul. I don't know quite how far they've got. But as I say, we've raised over a thousand pounds and many of us were very pleased to see Dan have his hair shaved off. And that was his charity challenge. So we have closely with employers. They provide projects for students. The students engage very thoroughly in those and we have mentors. So the mentors come in once or twice a term to talk to their particular students about careers and about um, where they want to be. And these mentors are generally younger, younger employees of these organisations that I've been speaking of. I think what makes me proudest is when I see messages from parents to the school um, saying how they feel it's a caring environment and one that's really benefited their child. And students say the same, actually, when we survey them. A few parents have said, and this particularly warms my heart, that the school has made a complete change to their child's life. That they're now engaged in school, they're now learning when previously they weren't. And that's really what I like to hear. That's why we did this. And that's why I hope it will continue and thrive. So I hope you enjoy this uh, virtual event this evening. I hope you find it useful and I hope you'll join us next September as parents and students on our role at Northeast Futures UTC. Thank you.
Hello everybody, I'm Dan Sides. I'm the principal of Northeast Futures UTC. We are a new 14 to 19 school in the heart of Newcastle upon Tyne city centre. Uh, we specialise in healthcare science and digital technology and we offer 14 to 19 year olds across the region from right up to Berwick, down to Teesside and across to Hexham. Um, our unique selling point really is our industry partners. These are the organisations that we work with very, very closely. Um, they are, sit on our governing body and make sure that our curriculum is correct and we're running the school well. Uh, they provide us with amazing projects that our students can undertake, uh, meaningful work experience placements. They mentor our students and they give career talks amongst many, many other ways that we uh, work with these different organisations. You can find out more about our different industry partners and what they do on our website. Um, here is really a summary of why you might want to come to the UTC. Um, one of the main reasons, or perhaps the key reason, is our UTCness. That's what we do differently. We work with industry partners to provide project-based learning. We have industry mentors for students so they can think about the career that they want to do. Our work experience is meaningful. Um, we have careers education baked into everything we do. We dress in a business-like fashion and we have near business-like hours as well. The environment is a great place to learn. You do feel a bit like a grown up um, coming into town for your education. Um, and we're obviously a brand new school with a beautiful building um, top of the top of the range, state of the art equipment that students can learn um, the career path of choice. Uh, we're a smaller size than most uh, secondary schools, which uh, a lot of our students like. And we have a friendly yet professional atmosphere. Uh, having said that, in many ways, we are like any great school in terms of teaching in the classroom, uh, the support that we give students, the challenge to make sure students do their best and making sure that we're always feeding back to students on their progress and assessment, as well as bringing parents and carers into that conversation. How we're a bit different is we really do focus on what we call the work ready skills. We focus on the teamwork, leadership, problem solving, communication skills, and we believe that by doing projects with industry, developing those skills, you will be the most employable young people in the region and be the ones who secure the best jobs, the promotions, etc, etc. Uh, data is very important to all schools, the amount of students getting high grades, etc. But the most important bit of data to us at the UTC is our destination data. And that is what the students do after they finish with us, their career paths um, and their positive destinations. Here's our building. We're right in the middle of Newcastle upon Tyne, accessible by metro, rail and uh, bus, and of course locally as well. Uh, this is the new build and this is the historical build. The Hawthorne Engineering Works in the 1800s actually was where parts for the Stevenson rocket was built. So it's a really historically significant building and it's very inspirational for us to work and learn there. In some ways, the UTC is like um, any great school. Um, we have um, a broad and balanced curriculum and I will be giving you a very brief overview um, of what we do at Key Stage 4 for Year 10 and Key Stage 5 for Year 12 in sixth form. Um, of course, we have pastoral support and a duty of care. We have small tutor groups. Um, we have a school counsellor uh, and we have a pastoral team that address students' pastoral needs. Of course, we offer academic support and have high expectations. Uh, we push students to do their very best and achieve those good grades so they can get those good destinations. Equal opportunities is really important at the UTC. We're actually one of the few technical colleges in the country that's uh, near half-half gender split between boys and girls. Um, and also um, we uh, aim to narrow the gap in terms of achievement uh, from people from all sorts of different backgrounds. So that's why equal opportunities is central to what we do. Uh, we don't yet have an Ofsted grade. We're expecting an Ofsted inspection in the 2020-21 academic year. Um, so for now, we go on the feedback that we receive and we receive emails like this all the time. Please check our social media stream because we love to celebrate our successes. And here's a lovely email that we received from one of our, parent, one of our parents that uh, really inspires us and lets us know uh, that our parents are really pleased that they made the huge decision to send their child to our school um, and, and pull them out of their current school. Now I'm going to go through this slide quite quickly. There's a lot of information here, but really, um, if you want to find out more, if you get in touch with info at nefuturesutc.co.uk or you call us on 0191 917 9888 to arrange a meeting, we'll drill down a bit more detail in this. And of course, you can download our prospectus from our website. 
But our core curriculum um, really is what you might do in any, stu in, in any great school, and it just ensures that we are broad and balanced in our curriculum. Personal development is in line with things like citizenship or PSHE in other schools. Your specialist curriculum, so not many schools offer all students the individual sciences, uh, and a lot of our parents and students, that's a real winner for us. And actually, we're really proud that our science science uh, students are taught by specialists. For example, uh, the chemistry class is taught by a chemist specialist. Uh, also, unusually, all our students do computer science GCSE. Many schools don't offer that or offer it as an option. Uh, for us, it's key that all of our students have uh, the fundamentals of computational thinking and coding. And all of our students pick a technical subject, for example, healthcare science, where they can learn uh, about first aid or digital technologies where they can develop their game development skills. Uh, option subject is a free choice and all of our students, no matter what the year group, access our UTC package. And I've got another slide on that later. So as you can see there, the Key Stage 5 students, that's the year 12 six formers. They also access our UTC NIST package. Um, and then you can choose really um, in our level three pathway, a uh, three or four subjects that we offer there. Uh, most students picking three um, and um, you can see the range of subjects there is not not every subject under the sun but i'll reinforce that we have governors from industry who've said these are the most important subjects that we offer uh, many of those are quite challenging subjects but some really great combinations of subjects and i'll be happy to have discussions with families that are interested in our sixth form on uh, the best combinations of subjects that suit your child's career paths we do offer a level two program with a pathway to apprenticeship. That's students that um, aren't ready yet to do a level three pathway. And we offer them four GCSEs in science, maths, English, and IT. Um, and that's a one year program. And actually when you have completed the apprenticeship pathway, uh, your view might be to access an apprenticeship or you can move on to our level three pathway and you can actually stay at the UTC until you're 19. All students do the UTC NIS package regardless of their year group or what um, pathway they pick. Again, we're just so proud when we get messages like this. Just another email to pass on our thanks to all staff for the hard work since opening Northeast Futures. My daughter has not once complained about the longer days, but says how it doesn't feel like school and how everyone is treated fairly and equally. We love to get emails like that and it inspires us uh, to do a great job. Here's some of the ways that the UTC is a bit different to maybe your child's current school. Um, and we've mentioned some of these already, but our mentoring program your students will actually meet someone from industry to talk about um, from the horse's mouth what working that industry is like. So, for example, we have uh, people in the web development uh, industry who uh, mentor our students about um, about careers in that in that area. Uh, we do one week of work experience in year 10, two weeks in year 12. And we really do work hard to secure meaningful work experiences that are actually in the area that your child is interested in. For example, for an IT company um, or even in the healthcare sector. We do projects every term. These might be half a day, a full day, or even over multiple days. They might be in lesson or we might be dropping down lessons for that day. But all of them are about developing those work ready skills and reinforcing the learning in the classroom. Uh, we find our projects are really exciting, engaging, and a different way to approach learning. Uh, we love planning and running projects. We find it really, really inspiring uh, and engaging. And our students get stuck in and often they can win some really great prizes. Um, our industry partnerships, we've had a slide with all our industry partners and how we work with them very, very closely. And we work with more uh, industries that we bring on board all the time. Very briefly mentioned Global Bridge, which is a platform. It's a bit like a digital CV. And we set all of our students up with a Global Bridge uh, profile and we ask them to keep track of all of the UTCness work they do. So they've got a great record, almost a digital CV, as I said, to show to their employer or to show if they're being interviewed at university, all of the great experiences that they've had at the UTC. Um, we work closely with industry, as I've said many times, um, and we've got feedback here from the Chamber of Commerce uh, who help build our network for the regional uh, industries. And as you well know, um, digital technology and the healthcare sciences are huge in the Northeast. Uh, this is some feedback from one of our mentors. We've had over 100 mentors running the program since 2018, um, and many of them find it a really enjoyable, different way um, from their normal day job. Um, and that's what motivates them to actually volunteer to come and work with our students. 
So hopefully my presentation wasn't too long. I've tried to keep it short and snappy, which is not very easy for me. Um, but I want to talk about what you do next. So if you are excited about what we do, if you're engaged by what we do and you think it's right for you, or if you think it's right for your child, um, then the time to act is now. Um, if you want to secure a place for this September, uh, then you need to apply for a place on our website. It's very, very short, takes about five minutes to complete. Um, and then we will make you a formal offer of a place. You accept that place offer by returning to us the registration form, which is a lot longer form. And then you've secured your place at the UTC for the next academic year. If you're interested in future years, for example, 2021, uh, you can email us uh, to register your interest, um, but you apply for a place from the September before um, you, you want to join us. Uh, we obviously run loads of events and loads of communications with our students that have applied for a place to make sure they're very, very clear about what we do here and to make sure it's the right decision for them. And then we start in September and we really, really look forward to seeing you. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that brief presentation. Uh, it's, please see our website for an online tour and uh, take care and stay safe. Goodbye now. Hello, my name is Kian and I'm the current student president of Northeast Futures UTC and I'll start with answering the question, why make the move to the UTC? Firstly, the business partners. It allows for direct connections to leading businesses in the industry, whether you want to work there or somewhere else, it is very good for networking. In addition to that, the mentor scheme allows for someone in the industry to help you and assist you with your uh, skills, whether that be within your CV or confidence or other regions. Um, in addition, they may have further connections, which you, again will help with uh, networking. While the hours at the UTC are long, after a while you do get adjusted to them and it is um, all in preparation for the business life and style and it prepares you for that. Whilst you're there as well, um, everyone else will be under the same business dress code, which really uh, solidates the idea of a business life and um, work style. The project days, whether they are in your field of interest or not, allows access to key skills employers are currently looking for, um, which are very critical to the current economy. In addition, um, with this experience, you can potentially help. It can potentially help you to find your dream job. Um, overall, I'd say the school life is vastly different compared to um, anywhere else. It's very personal. Everybody knows each other. Um, the teachers are very much approachable and supportive but the overarching point is it makes you feel more prepared for the workplace as well as the opportunities are very much endless with what can come up and it's very it's very much focused on your future um hi uh, MBS is a digital business that serves the construction industry. Um, we're located in Newcastle upon time, just around the corner from the UTC um, in the old post office building. And we um, employ uh, up to, well, almost 200 people, over 200 people. Um, we've been involved with the UTC, um, Northeast Futures UTC, since, since it opened. Um, and I think normally on an open evening similar to this or an open event similar to this, you'd be uh, joining us in person in, in our MBS auditorium. We sponsor the, the school hall um, and we have quite a presence um, at the school as well. Um, obviously, we're a digital business, so the uh, pupils that come out of the digital side of the UTC um, are obviously our future workforce. So we took a decision to, uh, to partner with the UTC as an industry partner um, from the onset and um, for that reason. Um, the activities we get involved with um, are things like um, we've we've held um, whole day projects where we've we've posed the school um, with uh, a real life problem that we've got in our business um, and see how they um, can solve it. The, the kids obviously come up with great ideas, so it's useful to see their their angle on it. Um, we support the school with. Um, other activities such as supporting in the, in the, the uh, events such as this open evening. Um, and, and we have a big um, presence in the mentoring scheme with around about at any one time, sort of between 10 and 12 of our, our employees mentoring um, the pupils at the UTC. 
and we meet them uh, six times a year um, for sort of an hour at a time and we go through life skills, um, first impressions, getting a job, CVs, interviewing and really an opportunity for them to just ask us what it's life like in, in real industry when you've got a job, what's the world going to be like when I get out there um, and we can just share our experience and be there for them as, as a sort of a bit of a, a touch point on real life. Um, we um, also take part in the um, the activities where the industry partners get together with the school and we take a look at um, whether the curriculum at the UTC is fit for um, the world outside. So are the kids going to come out of um, the school with the qualifications and the sort of the skills that people like us in a digital business in the sort of 21st century actually need. Um, so we're always happy to support UTC and um, we really invested in it as a sort of a, a great idea um, and we've got a lot of support internally from our uh, colleagues um, and um, we can't recommend it enough.